Hi, I'm Jeff. That's Pumpkin, and we have a tip for you. So sometimes you might want to create a dashboard that has a bunch of filtering capabilities where you can allow your users to see raw data. The problem is you don't want to necessarily have things load first, because if you're showing a lot of information, that could be slow. So let me show you how to build a dashboard that allows the user to filter first, then show content. It's a pretty cool idea. Let's, let's get into it. So let's get some data. I have some simple sales data here. I'm just going to drag it all onto the screen. Uh, remove the row number in this case, and that's fine. So that's what I'm going to allow the user to filter from. To make this quick, I'm just going to add filters very quickly using the Smart option. Smart's really cool because it'll just attach a filter that's possible based on the data that's on the screen. So let's add three of these. Perfect. Now, what you got to do if you want to have the data load later it's actually put the table into another layer. So if you go to layers, add a new one, and we'll do layer two. There's the table, I'll put it in there, and I'm gonna hide it. Hidden content doesn't render and doesn't load data until it's actually shown on the dashboard. So this is a good way to do this. That way, when the user opens up the dashboard, they don't have to wait for the data to load at all. Now for the filter, we're gonna add something called an update button. Add that button. Put it somewhere, maybe make it a little more attractive than I'm doing. But if you configure the update button, you can tell it which parameters should not update or run any data requests until that button's hit. So I'm just going to select all of them. Now the last thing I'm going to do is on that update button, let's go to the properties and under click, I'm going to tell it to do a change layer interaction, which would be show hide. Change layer, and I'm just going to simply hide, or sorry, and then I'm going to simply show layer two. And that's it. And check it in. This is basically done. Let's go into view mode, full screen. Now the user comes in. I want to see data for a couple specific countries, maybe a specific date or product. I hit the update button. And then it's going to load the first time as soon as I hit update. And that's it. And it's going to show exactly what I had asked the user to put in. So it's really helpful and can certainly help with some preloading performance. Hope this helps.